The goal is like, let's, let's train people who can become self-sustained enough to think through so many solutions now. What do we do? We are bridging from Web 2 to Web 3. Why go far when you can just make it a name? Then just make it Web 3 bridge. Like, that's simple. Like, in the last five years, we've seen guys who have moved from Web 3 bridge, both the online program and the on-site program, and who are working with very, very top companies. Like, Web 3 bridge is, more, is not just like a deaf training program. We are building like a sense of family and com a community where everyone is valued. Everyone is appreciated, irrespective of uh, their background they have and all of those things. And one of the reasons why it was easy for most of these people to work with us is because we are not going to meet program protocols to say, yeah, come and save us. No. We are going to say, we have done X, Y, Z. I think we believe this can also benefit you. I can't talk about how it began without talking about 2017 actually. So I came to the blockchain space in 2017 and uh, I was doing a number of community management job at all. But 2018 was the year that was that defined everything because I felt like okay, education was one of the problems that we have in the entire ecosystem at the time. So there was education part of the users, even developers. Then most of the developers we had are you know, like very, very good Web3 developers at the time because I remember we launched the project in 2018 that crashed and that was like a crazy year. So we launched this project 10 p.m. Nigerian time and by 10.30 the project crashed. Now I managed the community and yeah, I was living within the time and I woke up to a messy community and I was like, oh, let me quickly test the product myself. Test the product and the product was no more. And everybody ran away. The developers were sleeping because they were in different time zone. The, like every other person on the team were like MIA. I was the only one on the community like helping people like balance up and all. And, that experience taught me that we needed developers to, to step up. Then 2019, I was like going around doing a few meetups and all of those stuff. But then I was still working to see how we can like train developers. Mind you, I'm not a developer myself. So in 2019, during DevCon 5, I was following DevCon 5 from afar. And I saw a number of tweets, engaged a number of them until I came back and I saw Yusef Lubin's tweet on, you need to train a million developer for it. And I was like, oh. Innocently, I just responded, the African has the potential and the intelligence to like, make that number because understanding the... So I, I saw the tweet, I saw a number of negative tweets and all, but my tweet was just like very short, like just one sentence of tweet and I got a DM after that tweet, just an hour after the tweet, asking about the proposal or something in my life. I'm a Nigerian boy, we work proposal with our head actually, so like, there's a proposal actually. Mind you, that was a proposal, but came up with something. Education, I had the background in education and hospitality, so finding education would not be a problem. Came up with a proposal, I spoke with a number of persons within my team at the time to see how we can like come up with curriculum. We Clement Ugo, who did the design, the website of the first program, then we target 500 Nigerian days for Ethereum. Like, it was a very simple plan get 500 developers into Ethereum. When that is done, what happens next? I don't know, I don't care. But then it was a pilot program at the time. We did the pilot program and boom, the pilots were successful because we had a number of persons, like the mentors were like top-notch mentors within the country and outside the country from consensus, from all. Then it was funny because by the time consensus announced they wanted to do 500, uh, 1 million dev, by the time they set up their team, the team had to come and learn from Web 500 Nigerian devs because this was like something that was already happening. And they were trying to like figure, they were trying to figure out what they were trying to do. But then this was still like a pilot that was already running. So that's how it all started. I remember I was coming from I was coming from Ogun States one of those days, and I got to the bridge. This uh what is the name of this place? This bridge where you are coming into Lagos from I already passed through Ojota. I got it past Bega, like, and I received a call from Clement. Clement was a, I, it's time to give this a proper name. And I, I was, I, was I driving? No, I'm not sure if I'm driving or not, but then I remember I was around that time and I told him, I said, when the time to name this program comes, we will know. Because at the time I never even have a name. Like, there was no name. I was just like, I found Nigerian days was just like what, what it was at the time. 
within that week, uh, I was hoping to get a name. Uh, I learned back when I was doing my service from a brother who told me that the best place to get a name is to ask God. And then I didn't understand. But then that time I learned from that experience because my first company was brought a name I got from Genesis. I was thinking about it. Yeah, we need to make this thing have a name and all. When the year's done, I mean, what are we going to do? We are bridging Web 2 to Web 3. Then just make it Web 3 bridge. Like, that's simple. Like, what do we do? We are bridging from Web 2 to Web 3. Why go far when you can just make it a name? And I, I, I think I wrote it down at first, Web 3 bridge, to ask my wife. And you're like, ah, oh, that's a good name. Ask one or two persons. Like, that's a very good name. That extends what you're doing. And that stocks. Okay, the mission was simple. Get... 500 devs into Ethereum at the time. But then, prior to that, you know the problems we have in Nigeria then, like one of the challenges I, I see at the time was that most of the developers we had were not Nigerians, like they were foreigners. And we, are, we keep talking about penetration and adoption and all, but we can't find adoption until when we get local guys to become developers. Now, two things. When these local guys become developers, they're able to end and they're also able to build. Now, the more money they earn, the more our economy get better also. The more money they earn, the more like their interest continue to grow. So the mission was, let's train these developers, but apart from training them, let's make them into giants, into uh, people who are self-sustained, people who can like start up their initiative. Like the problem in Africa is wide, is much. Now, can Web3 Bridge only solves it? No, it's not possible. But we train people who are capable enough they can spring off different initiatives that you can see today, like, like you can look at what these guys, what um, these guys are doing in just with block fuse. Look at what it's doing with fight tech. Look at what UK is doing with blockchain espresso. Look at um, uh, what my was started with the Rust class. So like, the goal is like let's let's train people who can become self-sustained enough to think through so many solutions. Now, there's no way you put an hungry man behind an idea like they kill because the first thing they're looking for food. But when we move them from, so the first thing is get them to be able to self-sustain, like eat first. When they eat, they can self-sustain, they can think and think out of the box and solution comes. So the vision is build enough men, enough women, enough people in the tech space in Africa that can actually like grow the African ecosystem and the economy. Three years ago, we had this job advert that posted in the two years experience. And I was asking myself, I said, we have not gotten to that point yet. But then very soon, we're going to have this number. And in the last five years, we've seen guys who have moved from Web3 Bridge, both the online program and the on-site program, and are working with very, very top companies. Like, I've seen guys who are working with consensus. I've seen guys that foot away with smooth and like, you that company again, like, on board, like, NAMI, like, Never mind. That was that was a story. That was a story that happened last year or early this year. One of our developers applied to to intern at the company, and he applied to intern. When he saw his repo and order, like no, 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 you have to come and join us as full as full team. Like so, and this internship opportunity is one of the biggest one that people look out in the ecosystem. So for them to look at him and like no, you can't intern anymore. You have to come on the team. It shows that we have trained people. I've got so many good news about the people we have trained that I am confident in the results that are still coming. I would say the discipline we bring to Web3 Bridge is one thing. Now, uh, this discipline is actually funny. So let me let me let me let me go let me go back a little bit. Before Web3 Bridge, I had a friend who worked at Andela and I took time to understand what Andela does, how they do their thing and all like I asked him a ton of questions, get to like understanding. Then, uh, coming from someone that attended Living Faith Church, I have seen Oedepo do like stuff. Now, unfortunately, I'm not, I'm not as disciplined as Oedepo can be. I no plan to be as disciplined as Oedepo can be, like never. But I've seen that there is some things that works, and it's, it's, it's only a fool that sees things that work and decides to shy away from them. So, one of the things that make Web3 the bridge right is, is the, 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 the quality of the mentors that we bring. Like, let's look at the fact that we have our alumni is also mentor. So that, that that's one way to look at it. Also look at the eviction program. Now, the eviction program is actually, actually like one thing that I've given so many persons desire to like push forward. Now, uh, we can't we can't also like share away from the system we have built. The system being that is more is not just 
like a deaf training program. Now, at least for each course, we have a session with the students where we do like counseling, therapy, and all of those stuff. Like we have we're building like a sense of family and community, a community where everyone is valued, everyone is appreciated, irrespective of uh, their background they have and all of those things. And that are, that are some of the things I've seen that have worked. Moving, moving on sites is also like one, one benefit that we add because when we were doing fully remote, it was like a lot of trouble and work. But since we've moved on site, having a one-on-one -on -one with these guys, like being available to listen, like, I, I, and it's quite like everyone, everyone wants, everyone needs listening ears. And working with people that has like empathy, like from core staff to the kitchen staff, like everybody has, everybody doing what they are supposed to do. is one of the things that like make the program what it is to do. We can't go talk about that without talking about it from the network. These guys, these guys, it's not the network where the first guys that sent that GM back five years ago. And since then, they have been a part of the journey, even till now. There are people that I go back to at times and they say, okay, Alpha, this is what we have done so far. Like, they have made us accountable, understanding that, okay, this is what we are doing. Like, this is where we are, this is where we are at and all. That has helped. Yeah, Polygon was one, one part now, like, gave us who worked with us at some point. And uh, one of the reasons why it was easy for most of these people to work with us is because we are not going to meet program protocols to say, yeah, come and save us. No. We're going to say, we have done X, Y, Z. I think we believe this can also benefit you. Do you understand? Like, because we have, we have so shown results. So one of, one of the reasons why it was easy for them to work with us is because of the results we have shown. Optimism, like, trusted us to give us a retro grant. The Foundation has been, like, an amazing friend and partner for, like, I, have, I would say, yeah, sponsor, friend, partner. So I was in Paris in 2020 to meet the Ethereum community. And I believe that the community stands for something I believe in, whereby everyone has a voice. Like, like irrespective of who you are, where you're from, everyone does have a voice. This came together at some point and I decided they were going to double down on Africa. Um, fortunately, they reached out to me and like, I have met some of your alumni, you're working with some of them and like to have a partner, long-term partnership with you. And I was like, Ooh, that's not bad. And I wasn't expecting much, but then truth being true to their world, uh, Liska has been like a very, very, like very amazing partner with yeah, base, yeah. Thanks, thankfully, Monga. Thankfully, you you serve introduced us to base at some point, and it was really a good one. Morgan actually did a very good job trying to like get us into that thing. We did a lot of a lot of work. A lot of the partnership was a fruitful one, and that was a good deal. Yeah, Starknet was also like one partner, one partner sponsor that we had. We held a masterclass for StackNet. And today I can see that almost 70 of the developers in the StackNet ecosystem are from Web3 Bridge directly or indirectly. And uh, the airdrop that they did in March was actually like the killer one for us because it, it did not just get our guys to become millionaires. It also like giving them a confidence to say, yeah, I can be this person I want to be. So I started with yeah, Katesi. Yeah, we had, a, we had also like Masterclass of Katesi earlier in the year, which was actually like, so Katesi had ended up adopting our, uh, our style to do like a complete Masterclass all across the world, which was a good partnership for us. Then the guys at school, like those guys came to Lagos and like, saw what you guys are doing and decided to like work with us. Fortunately, uh, school got the employed someone who I had met while he was at Ethereum Foundation. I was like, Ayo, yeah, I've been following you for this number of time and I trust you enough to like manage this and manage that. And we've had very amazing partners with the partnership with them within the African continent. Uh, it's, it's a time to say big shout out to yourself. Yusuf Ayeli has been an amazing friend, amazing brother, because he had like pointed us to a number of persons. Like, yeah, you guys need to meet Ayo. You guys like, met someone who came from China and was like the first time I heard about. Web3 Bridge was when this person came from Hong Kong to Lagos and he came back and was like, you guys ought to, all of you have to go to Lagos and meet Web3 Bridge. Like, so I've never been to Hong Kong before, <laughs> but then someone in talking about Web3 Bridge in Hong Kong and that's that's like a big deal. Yeah, uh, again. Uh, Yeli Badamosi from Onboard, uh, Eric Andan and Pique uh, from Aya. These guys are amazing. I miss them sometimes. Yeah, yeah, almost like two years ago now, and 
it's been an amazing time like learning from them seeing their results because i believe that we can do it alone i also believe that the more we see people who are doing something that we do the more we can like learn from them to see how we can like put things better like those guys are very amazing guys and we've had a lot of a lot of amazing partners that i might not be able to mention at this point but then one of the things that i see that draw them to us is the value that we offer I believe that we are not the one doing the connection. Our job is to train these guys, uh, get them to become better developers and better humans. And uh, believe that for each time one of the developers go out, like we tell them they are ambassadors of the bridge. And for each time they go out, they become like the point for others to also get into the ecosystem. Our job is to actually pass on the train, but then we train them to become better train them to be able to like understand how to look for a job also for all of these things by themselves because training them means that no matter where they find themselves they can actually survive on their own so we have done our job well and we need to give kudos to the alumni who kept opening doors for others and helping them walk through and holding the door so our job is to train the group of people who also like continue to like help and open doors for others so at first I believe that one of the first problems we had as Nigerians first was integrity issue. Like uh Nigerians are not bad, but then some persons might have swelled our name up, mean good with it. So like if your first point of call is some person like ah oh, this poor spell our name. So when we came, I remember I had this Ugandan friend who told me, uh let, let me make let me make let me make his Ugandan I was like, Ayo, these guys are not gonna give you money. Because the, there was a program I was part of. These guys collected money and they never delivered anything. They were just traveling around. They were traveling around from Uganda to South Africa and back to Nigeria and nothing happened. So they are not going to give you money. So at first I discovered that one of the problems we need to solve is an integrity problem where can we be trusted? So one of the first things we did, conscious thing with the to ensure that we are at the point of trust. We are not perfect, but then if you give us funds to do ABC, we have consciously moved from ABCD because we believe that that's one way where you can keep coming back. And will not just affect us, will affect everyone within the ecosystem because now instead of having multiple people like, oh, we don't trust this, but now you can say, oh, we trust with three bridge, then we can transfer the same trust to the next person. And we have seen that play over time. So uh, that's one way I believe that Three Bridge has done very good enough. And also the developers we train, the quality of developers we train is as something that is like rich enough for everyone to want to come work with. If someone had told me five years ago that we would have, have grown this big, I would have argued because my intention was just to have a program. Like honestly, because the more the more you, the more you make an organized ecosystem or company, the more trouble and headache you have. So in five years, we've achieved this much. I believe that in another five years, I see us becoming like the like the first stop shop for developers, not just for training. Oh, we might become if we might become an informal technical university. Uh, I don't know how that will play out here, but then I am um, so understanding what we have achieved in the last five years. I'm just like hoping to continue to show up every day and see where the next years lead us. The best way to start saying thank you is to say thank you to everyone that has believed in what we have achieved. Like I wish I could mention the name of all the first mentors that we had. Like I was not, I was not like I was not in tech like tech tech fully. Like, I was a technical person when we started, and these guys believed in what we do. I reached out to them and they believed in the vision. Like, a number of them got scared, though. We're like, are you going to start something they could do? And, like, shit, they could do this bush. And I was resolved, resolved not to say, yeah, we do, we do this. And I want to say thank you to my wife. Like, that's the one person that's seen me in my low of low. Like, when things like, don't worry, you're going to scale this through. And yeah, my boys have been amazing too. Like, they made you made this work easy. Thank you to all, all the team members I went through, but like the present, the past, because each of them are, each of them had brought in one value to the company at each time that they were in. Like uh, the guys that we have worked with were amazing guys. The guys we are working with are amazing guys. Like they have made the work like easier. Like I remember another two, three years ago, I was in charge of everything. I was in charge of content, snapping picture, uh paying salaries, doing this one, that, 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 but then at least it's been, it's been a lot, a lot relaxed now. So thank you to the team. Ah, uh, it's best one way to say thank you to all the alumni, it's like all of them, because there's one thing I used to say when they are leaving, like, 
benefits you are benefiting now is because somebody did the work, did the work, somebody didn't spoil the name. So you should hold up the name, to open doors for others. And today I've seen a lot of them opening doors for themselves. Now, not just opening doors, like opening the door and holding it and making sure you are fully in. And that's one way I say thank you to them. Like some of them are also like, sir, we know we are struggling with this guy. Take this money, take this money, like good deal. Like thank you very much, the man. To the entire ecosystem, I'll say thank you. It's been an amazing five years and uh, presently I'm still like very surprised to see this level of results that we've achieved in five years. If I'm to say anything, I would say we're achieving 10 years, but then this is five years. Happy uh, anniversary to Web3 Bridge, the staffs, the team, happy anniversary to them, happy anniversary to our alumni who have been part of the journey with us, happy anniversary to the partners who have been there all through the journey. I have to advise it to myself. <laughs> At least I just have to say I have to advise it to myself. Then, as family, we're to the bridge, we say, happy anniversary, everybody. Thank you very much. God bless you.